Hi guys, welcome to Trey Jossie channel. Welcome to quarter two, week nine, day three. For today's objectives are to describe the certain types of harmful interaction among living things and to identify the harmful interaction among living things. Come on, let's have fun while learning. To begin with, please bring out your notebook and answer this. Draw a happy face if the following interactions show beneficial effects among organisms and sad face if not. Go! It's time to check your answers. For number one, it is a sad face. Number two, it is a happy face. Number three, sad face. And number four, sad face. And last number, we have happy face. I do hope you got a perfect score. Now, take a look at this picture and describe the effects of interaction in the environment. What organisms are involved in the interactions? You're right. Describe the effects of interactions between the organisms in the picture. How can you classify this interaction? You're right! And now, it's time for your group activity. It was entitled, Is it Harmful? Here are the materials. We have pictures of bird eating worms, aphids and roast plant, lion attacking a buffalo, manila paper, and marker. Please follow the procedures given in your activity sheet. This is the sample table that you are going to accomplish. Here are also the guide questions that you are going to answer during your activity. And now, it's time for you to present your output. All of your answers in the group activity are correct. Now, let's summarize them. For number one, birds and worms. Birds are the predators here, and worms are the prey. So the type of interaction is predation. So the description is one was benefited and the other was harmed or killed. The second one, aphids and roast plant. The type of interaction is parasitism. Okay, so aphids is the parasite and roast plant is the host. Okay, so one was benefited and the other was affected. Last one is the lions and buffalo. So they compete with each other. That's why the type of interaction for this is competition. So they compete to each other for survival. For better understanding, Let's discuss the harmful interactions among organisms in their environment. The first one is what we call the predation. When you say predation, it is the type of interaction where one benefits while the other one is harmed or badly affected. For predation, always remember the two terms. We have the predator, which is the animal that hunts other consumers for food. And the word prey. When you say prey, they hunted and eaten by predators. Here are the examples of predation. The first one we have shark and seal. The shark is the predator and the seal is the prey. Another example, we have snake and rat. So the snake here is the predator and the rat or the mouse is the prey. Another example, we have here 
the tiger and the deer. Okay, so the tiger here is the predator and the deer is the prey. Next, last example, we have the bear and the fish. So the bear is the predator and the fish is the prey. Number two example of harmful interaction among living organisms is the parasitism. So when we say parasitism, it is the interaction where the organisms that benefit are called parasites. And the one that is affected is called the host. There are two types of parasitism. The first one is what we call the internal parasites, which can be found inside the body of a host stomach. The second one is what we call the external parasites, which can be found outside the body of the host. Here are the examples of internal parasites that can be found in the human stomach. The examples of parasites here are the different types of worms. So we have roundworm, whipworm, hookworm, and tapeworm. So the host here is the human stomach and the worms are the parasites. Next, we have the examples of external parasites. Again, it is found outside the body of the host. So, for example, we have the rose plant and the aphids. Okay, so as you can see, so the rose plant is the host and the aphids are the parasites. Another example, we have the human skin or the human body and a mosquito. So, the host here is the human and the parasite is the mosquito. Wherein the mosquito draw blood from the, the human or from the host. Another example, we have here the dog and thick. So the tick here is found at the dog's body. So the dog is the host and the tick is the parasite. Okay, another example we have here the human and the louse. So the louse will live in the human's head or on the hair of the human. So the human will be the host and the parasite is the Laos, wherein they also draw blood from the from the host. Another example, we have dog and fleas. So the dog is the host and the fleas is the parasites. Another example, we have the plants and uh, spider mites. So the spider mites are the parasites and the plants is the host. The third one, harmful interaction of living things, is what we call the competition. So when we say competition, it is a type of interaction where organisms compete for food, sunshine, space, shelter, water, and other things that they need for survival. So each organism in this kind of relationship is called competitor. There are two types of competition. The first one is what we call the intra-specific competition. So in this type of competition, there is a competition between the same species. Okay. Another type of competition is the inter-specific competition. So in here, they compete with the different species. So here is the examples of intra-specific competition. So again, when you say intra-specific, it is a competition between the same species. So for example, between kangaroos or between lions. So yeah, so they compete because of food or or shelter or space. And then, in terms of interspecific competition, we have example here, cheetah and lion. We also have zebra and hyena. 
So, they compete with each other, either in the terms of food or space. Based on our discussions, what are the different harmful interactions among organisms? Very good! Kindly describe the relationship of animals under predation. Next, can you describe the relationship of animals under parasitism? What about the relationship of animals under competition? Can you describe them? Based on your understanding in our lesson, why do we need to know the different interactions among animals? To sum up, here are the things you should remember. There are harmful interactions among animals that can be classified into three. We have the first one as the predation, wherein we have the predator and the prey. Predator is the one who is hunting and the prey are the one who will be affected or they are the one who will be killed. Number two is the parasitism. We have the host and the parasites. Okay, so the parasites get nutrients or food from the host. So the host will be affected. And the last one is the competition. In this particular interaction, the animals here is called competitor because they compete in food, shelter, water, space, and so on. To see if you really understood our lesson, please get your notebook and answer this. We're going to write through if the statement is correct and false if not. Go! Let's check your answers. For number one, internal parasites live outside the host body. The correct answer is false. So it should be external parasites. Okay? That lives outside the host body. Number two, lice and ticks are examples of internal parasites. It, it is also false because lice and ticks are example of external parasites. Number three, the one that eats in predation is called predator. The answer is true. Number four, fishes also compete with each other to feed on the other animals. So this is true okay and number five interspecific competition is a competition between individuals of the different species so the answer is false it should be interspecific i do hope you got a perfect score for your assignment you're going to cut different pictures of animals and identify them whether it is an example of predation parasitism or competition you're going to paste it on a long band paper that's all for today kids thank you for listening stay safe everyone god bless Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Please also click the subscribe button. Thank you.